Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your weekly general reading. This is for the 18th through the 24th of May 2020. Please keep in mind this is an intuitive reading. Also keep in mind, Aquarius, I have grandchildren running around playing. Just know they are safe and they are fine. Now, I'm using the Oracle of the Unicorns along with the Tarot Illuminati for your weekly general messages. All right, Aquarius, let's see what energies we have for you this week. Thank you, Spirit. We are ready. All right, so we have a beautiful energy of innocence coming up here. Love it. All right. Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising spirit. What does Aquarius need to know this week? 18th through the 24th. Thank you, Spirit. We're ready. All right, Aquarius. Current, si current situation is temperance. And your foundation is the Queen of Pentacles. What's benefiting you this week? Nice. The Emperor. All right. In your crowning position, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Beautiful. And your outcome energy is the Six of Cups. All right. Thank you, Spirit. So we have this energy, you know, coming up here twice of, you know, for, for a, a few of you, there's a need to be a bit more playful, okay? Um, there's a need for you to nurture your inner child okay not be so serious all right with innocence coming up here take the time to play nurture your inner child live with a childlike sense of wonder okay and this is powerful if you'll notice you see this full moon back here as well you know it's important when we are manifesting okay and, and not only manifesting, but when we're going after something that we truly want, we desire, okay, our goal, what we're, we're uh, going after to achieve here, that we believe in it wholeheartedly, okay, and it's coming from that energy of having that childlike faith, okay, and this is what I'm getting for some of you. This is so important because when you believe in your dreams, like a child believe, believes in their dreams, I guarantee you it's going to happen. Okay, that's the power. That is the, that's that magic. Okay, and I feel like this is coming through for some of you uh, to understand not to be so hard on yourself and not to be so serious. Okay, with whatever it is that you're taking action on right now or, or what you're going after what you're manifesting, okay, with this full moon. Believe in it. And believe in yourself. And I promise you, you're going to get a positive, positive outcome here. Now, we've got temperance coming up here. The energy of Sagittarius. I love it. You see that rainbow in the background right there? Rainbows, to me, represent endless opportunities and possibilities. Again, we're talking about magic, and that magic is within you, Aquarius. You know, I feel like some of you are working so hard, especially, you know, you have the Eight of Pentacles in your crowning position. you got the Emperor right here. You know, whatever you are working on right now, I mean, you're going at it, okay, at full force. And, you know... I. 
<clears throat> excuse me, bless my heart, I burnt some sage earlier, and I tell you what, <laughs> it's got me clearing my throat a lot. Now, what I was saying, what you're working at right here, you know, you're really putting the time and the effort into it, okay? You're going to make it happen. Uh, I see you guys, you know, making sure you have something just right. I mean, you're, you're putting in the work here, you're taking a step back, and you're, you're evaluating, you're seeing how it's uh, working, or, you know, you're looking to see if there's any more adjustments, or if there's any more work that needs to be done, and if there is, you're coming right back to the table, and, you know, you're putting in that effort, okay? So I'm definitely, you guys are really working hard, and that's exactly uh, why for, for some of you, it's going to be important that you make sure that you are not being so serious, okay? Uh, because you are very goal-oriented at this time with what it is that you're, I feel like what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is your career, your business, okay? So you need to make sure you're making the time to nurture yourself, okay? And be a bit playful and not be so, so serious, okay? I know I've said that several times. I just, somebody needs to hear that message, okay? But, you know, I do feel like you're balancing your energies as well. Um, you're balancing your relationships. This talks about you doing inner alchemy. This is the spiritual alchemy energy coming through here. And I feel like with you doing this inner work, this is where, you know, you're believing in yourself more as well. Okay? I, I'm just getting that, you know, that energy of you know what needs to be done and... You're taking the time to make sure that you you get it done, okay? Or you're, you're working on it. And when you do so, it really brings in these opportunities, okay? These possibilities, these blessings. So get ready, Aquarius. I am seeing blessings coming your way. And I see where you're balancing your energies to make sure you're open to receiving these blessings, okay? Now, you've got the Queen of Pentacles coming up here in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week. You know, whether you're female or male, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy right here. Very grounded energy. You know, this tells me that you are very dependable. Uh, what it is that you're working on here, okay? Uh, it, it's, uh, I'm getting a material harvest. I'm, I'm getting some type of material gain coming in here with all the effort that you are putting forth. Uh, I'm talking about long-term financial gain. I'm talking about you laying that solid, unshakable foundation when it comes to, you know, you building your empire, your financial empire, because you've got the emperor here as well. This could be you, uh, you know, moving up and climbing the ladder to success with a company or a corporation that you work for. For some of you, this is you landing that job that is really going to allow for you to feel financial comfort. Some of you, this is you creating your business right here, building it up. And then you've got the emperor, the energy of Aries, and this is in the position of what's benefiting you this week. I love it. This is you asserting yourself. This is you you know, having a money-making idea or project right here and you putting the time and effort and, you know, turning it into something, creating and building right here. You know, for many of you, this is an authority energy. Some of you have taken back authority over your, your situation, your circumstances, your career, your business, okay? You know, I'm just getting money moves. You're making money moves right here. What you're putting your time and effort in, what you're building right here, is really going to, you're really going to do very well, okay, financially, all right? Especially if this is something you have just begun or just started, whether it's starting a new business or career, just know, I tell you what, there's a lot of room here for growth and expansion when it comes to bringing in money and i'm talking about long-term financial gain here okay 
Some of you are definitely stepping into a leadership role. Uh, maybe this is a new experience, a, a new role here. And this could definitely be getting you a pay raise, a promotion even. Some of you are mentors. Uh, you just have that natural leader ability, okay? And it's going to get you places. Especially with the Eight of Pentacles coming up here in your crowning position, Aquarius. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This is you mastering your skill right here. You know, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, you are so highly skilled, okay? Now, for some of you, this could be you getting a degree, a master's, maybe an associate's. Um, this could be receiving a certificate. For some of you, this is you mastering a spiritual path or journey as well. You could be fixing to start a, a new uh, spiritual journey. Now, I am getting, okay, for a handful of you, you're taking your skill and you are definitely setting out on your own, okay? With what you do, you are so good at it. You are so talented, okay? You're taking your skill you're starting your own business. You are building your empire right here. There's a promise of success. Okay? And again, this is coming up over and over again. We're talking about long-term financial stability and gain. Now, you've got the Six of Cups as your outcome energy right here. I'm telling you blessings. Blessings, blessings right here, Aquarius. I love it. Opportunities coming your way. Okay? Uh, for some of you, it's it's going to come from unexpected sources, okay? And it, it's going to blow your mind. But it's all positive. And I see you accepting, okay? I, I see you uh, taking what's being offered here. Uh, I, I see what's being offered is really going to allow for you to step into this leadership role, okay? Or this authority type role here. Now, like I said at the beginning, there, there's a need for some of you to not be so serious, okay? You know, allow that inner child to come out and play, okay? That's going to be very important. Now, I am getting, for one of you, and you're going to have to leave me a comment because I like confirmation as well, you guys, um, with the, the, you know, information that uh, I receive as well from my guides. I'm seeing a soul connection. I'm not talking about a soulmate connection where it's love, okay? I'm talking about you meeting somebody or crossing paths with someone, okay? And this is going to be somebody that you've never known before, okay, in this lifetime until now or when you meet them. But you're going to feel like you've known this person forever. You're going to have that soul connection and that's because you've this is someone that you have a uh, you know i always feel like when we were reincarnated that's my opinion we come back and we always have the our soul family okay and i feel like this person is a part of your soul family you've had past lives with them okay so you have that soul connection you're going to be meeting or crossing paths with someone and this this person is trustworthy and you know it this could be somebody that could be you know offering this opportunity to you this could be somebody that is uh, i feel like they're older than you this is someone that i feel like it could even be a mentor uh, a teacher uh, type energy right here they could be backing you financially maybe with you building up your empire here they may be um I feel like you're being admired for your skill, okay, because you are highly skilled at what you do. And this person, you know, maybe like, look, you know, why don't you start your own business? You know, you're talented. You, you know, you'd be very successful. And this could be someone that is backing you. That's coming through from my guide. Very interesting. Like I said, please let me know if that, that message is for you, okay? All right, Aquarius, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know 
how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.